All right, back from the break. Um, let's go into point number one of what, um, which companies, which entities, which people possibly could promote uh, you and put your message on their wagon for you not to pay or very little to pay compared to what you otherwise would have to pay and by doing so endorsing you because they are promoting it it acts like a referral good and those are people who never most likely have been or will be uh, your clients for the simple reason they don't qualify as your clients as such so let's look at that particular situation who that could be and please keep in mind um, it's a relatively a relatively uh, short list while yet uh, quite in, you know it encumbers a lot of stuff uh, but please it is going to be your and yes I will help you once we are um, maybe because uh, we offer some services where we uh, you know take you through this whole journey for five, six, seven, eight months and, uh, and really work with you and, uh, and, and help you brainstorming, imagining, right, and all those things. Um, and we have lots of sources. So I will we'll work with you on that. But either way, whether you ever engage us or whether you don't engage us, um, it is, of course, up to your own individual imagination and coming up with, oh my good, there's this company, we could do this, and this company is contacting my client somehow, and then and, and, and we could do something there and come up with something. So let's first start, um, you know, let's start with, you know, companies slash organi orgs slash people, okay, who could Promote you, me, whatever, you know. Okay, good. Number one, not necessarily number one, by the way. I just, you know, i got to start somewhere, right? Um, number one, normal local or not so local newspapers. That could be uh, in the United States, the local uh, little paper in the little town or many little papers. That could be the big paper like the, the, the Los Angeles Times or the New York Times and the same in any other country, a local paper or the Bombay Times or, or all such type of things. So basically the news, the paper. And by paper, by the way, I'm actually, I would re really what I should be saying is here, the media. Okay, the media that includes TV, uh, radio, uh, and a paper. Okay, now, please, if for some reason your product doesn't somehow qualify for it, fine. And on the other hand, it's almost impossible that it will not be qualified. It's the resourcefulness of how to make it happening, and um, and I'll help you with that. But. Yes, with some products it's easier than with other products. Yes, I got that. But we all have, if we look at it, and if we know how public relation is created, we all have something to say about a newspaper or a TV or a radio or all of them being able to talk to us about us. In fact, in India, for instance, I started going there as a tourist. I went there as a tourist with a good friend, slash client who is from India but lives and works in the United States. There was a client in the United States and a doctor. Um, he took me on a vacation trip for Diwali. He says, Helmut, you have a lots of Indian clients in the United States, you love Indian food, why don't you come with me for Diwali and see what the country is all about? I said, why not? And he says, and by the way, you know, Maybe you can give a seminar or two to some uh, uh, organizations I know down there and some old friends in the medical field, dental field and stuff like that. And I said, yeah, well, yeah, that, that's right. That, I like that. And he knew that. So either way, um, as I arrived there and stood at uh, his uh, brother's uh, home, uh, I had a discussion with his brother because his brother asked, so what are you doing? And one of the things I explained to him was that we get people into the newspaper, our clients, in order to make them known, famous, and uh, um, uh, authoritative, and basically uh, get more business. Oh, he says, in India you need to know people to get in the paper, and next time when you come I'll introduce you to some uh, reporters so that you maybe get an article in it. And I said, well, that's not how it really works. You can get an article in it 
uh, almost all the time. I mean, nothing is completely, you know, 100% sure proof all the time, but you will get an article in it and you will be, um, it, there's a technique how to do it. Oh, no, 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 he said. Well, <laughs> this was the first night, literally. I went up to my room as I went to bed and I typed away on my little laptop and uh, my God, I was definitely writing very slow um, uh, back then. I still write slow and with two fingers, but I'm a lot faster, uh, otherwise I would never have uh, been able to write my book. Um, and next morning I went in town, not knowing where the hell I'm going, um, but I seeked out three larger newspapers, which somehow I found out with a discussion on casual discussion in that house and I went to Bumper Dimes to midday and I uh, forgot the other one uh, uh, anyway and holy and behold midday printed my article within 24 hours or 48 hours in Bombay as a tourist I got into the newspaper with an article there's almost no business where it's a uh, a, a plastic, a machinery manufacturer, whether you're an oil uh, specialist, a power specialist, whether you're a doctor, you can get into the paper. <laughs> Will you get in right away and, and would I hold my breath and say you'll be in it in three weeks or in three months? No, but you will get in it, you know, um, with topics uh, not always 100% related to your field or yes, maybe yes, but one way that way there is a twist. You've got to know again what to deliver to the newspaper that they want you to uh, write about you. It's, that's a technique and it's as simple as find out what's, what they want. So what's in for me is the key. You find out what this reporter and this paper want to have in for them and you put it in their light and they will print you. And we're going to do of course one way that way teach you but for right now I'm just telling you. Then number two what about trade magazines? Trade magazines. What type of trade magazines? By the way, I get to the topic when we get to the message, okay? So don't get nervous about what, okay? Um, just those are companies and organizations which could be promoting for you. There is your trade magazine, you know, from your trade. They might, might not be the important, most important one. They may be the least important one, but Definitely we want them. Um, there is the trade magazine of your clients, of your clients. There's the trade magazine of your client's clients because again, I get to that in the message, um, okay? So your clients, clients, there may be the trade magazines of your clients' vendors. See, your client, buys particular things from many different industries. Um, you know, um, if you're manufacturing plastic um, and your clients, they do something with it, they have machines, they have certain things, so they have vendors. Um, you know, we don't need to figure out necessarily who is, you know, the, the actual client, but like the industry kind of, okay, so your clients vent us. So we have your, your trade, uh, trade magazine, your clients uh, trade magazines, because uh, he's in a different profession usually than you in a different field. Um, uh, your clients clients trade magazines, your clients vent us trade magazines, all right? Uh, changes that, there's more to it, but let's stop at it here. Then the same with associations associations. Again, you want your association, you want your clients associations, you want your clients clients associations, and maybe your clients vendors associations. <laughs> okay? All that stuff is not all that difficult to find out and with a little bit of legwork um, you know, uh, uh, they're very easy to find. Okay? Um, very easy and there are lots of them I mean there are a fair amount of them all right uh, what else should we have um, um, uh, what, who else should we have here um, on it uh, we have the trade magazines the associations um, then we have um, you know basically many you know just companies for you know companies 
who have um, interest in your clients. That may be, by the way, the, the vendors to this particular client. Uh, again, if, um, if, if, uh, if, if your client buys particular machinery or goods, that would be um, his vendors. They want to promote to him already, okay? So if you want to sell to a restaurant, restaurant suppliers would be good. If you want to, if you want to sell um, uh, a machine to a plastic manufacturer, um, the guy who sell the plastic manufacturer, the compound and, and the color, and there are probably other people who sell machinery to him, but different machinery than you, uh, all those people would be um, qualifying to help you promote your, uh, uh, your product. Um, and then I'm going to put another one on here, which is part of the number four, but it's extremely important, and that is Google and YouTube and about 50 other such companies. They're much less known, I don't even know their name, and um, we don't need to know their name. We just need to know that, you know, for instance, YouTube is extremely famous, but there are 50, 60 or more companies like YouTube. They're just so much less famous. None of us really knows them. It's not important. They still have huge amount of traffic, huge amount of power, and, um, uh, and we'll get things done. Now,